Hey everybody, so we've been working on this, the Pelton wheel wind turbine. We did an original three bladed version and I thought the result was a bit yeah. It had a top on it, it had three blades. And there were some great comments and the comments included, where does the wind exhaust to and why don't you try filling the space? So I did. I've got a six bladed version. Now, of course, the wind has no option. It hits this blade, it's funneled down here, it gets reversed on itself and we get some thrust. And equally, without a top, the excess has got somewhere to exhaust to. So what we want to do, of course, is try that in a bit of wind. Okay, we're getting about three meters per second. Let's give it a go. Okay, that's going from about 2.2 to 4 me. Now we're at 1.1. So it's a little bit gusty. Two point seven. Okay, point nine of a meter, it stops. and it goes crazy. <laughs> wow. 4.5 meters per second. Awesome. Okay, so we've got about four meters per second there, and what we're getting is about 1.1, 1.2 volts out of it, which is kind of cool. If you look right there, we've got a silvery stripe on it, and that's because I've got this, which is a laser tachometer, and we're gonna see how, far this, how fast this spins. Now, I've got a fan here, and if I hold it about there, we'll get about four meters per second on it. We'll put that on, and we'll see how fast it spins. That's 2,448. 2,600. That's pretty cool. Now I'm expecting sort of a tip speed ratio of kind of four. I mean, that's, I think, pretty good, at least according to my reading, for this style of turbine. But let's go and calculate what that TSR actually is. Ha! Now from something this size, you're not expecting to light Manhattan anytime soon. I mean, it's 10 centimeters by 14 centimeters. So in terms of the power available in the wind at one meter per second, you're talking about nine milliwatts of available power. And we're gonna get about two milliwatts out of it just because of the wind and because of its size. And it's something like four meters per second. Well, the available wind power goes up to half a watt but we're only going to collect maybe 100 milliwatts out of it just because of the size and the power in the wind.
So when I did the calculation, it turns out we got a tip speed ratio of five. Now, the tip speed ratio is actually a measure of the efficiency of the turbine. It's how well it can take the energy from the wind and turn it into rotation. Traditionally, you're looking at about six, with exceptional being at eight. This is five, and I was expecting four. Now, it is badly made, and I'm not, I'm not unhappy about that. It's a quick investigation, but I'm sure you saw it wobbling like crazy. Well, that's losing energy and the only thing we've actually done is double the number of blades we've made no effort at optimizing it yet so how long that should be how far in there it should go should these two be the right size is that the right angle loads of questions like that but what I'm taking from this is even despite its current state getting a TSR of 5 mean that's pretty efficient at extracting the wind energy which is mildly surprising when you think about it but certainly means it's worth the investment investigation further because this Pelton wheel design to my mind has a great deal of promise and I find that result extraordinarily exciting so I hope you do too thank you very much for watching the video and please do remember to like and subscribe